Hey, hey, hey! Almost ready! Wow! Hey, hey, hey! Welcome back to our channel! My name is Louise. And I am from <laughs> Canada. Carson, <laughs> I'm Carson. <laughs> Hi, Canada! <laughs> So today we are gonna watch a video from Takashi from Japan and in this video he is interviewing foreign couples that have been living in Japan with their kids. So it's a video about like how it is to raise kids in Japan basically. I see. I think yeah. we're the best people to react for this because number one, how many kids do you have? Oh, uh, zero. <laughs> well, I also have zero. So we are definitely qualified <laughs> to best. give parental or mm -hmm. child raising advice in Japan. Yeah. Let's take a look. Uh, thank you for your help. That's a big family. Yeah. That is a huge family. Uh, can you do this, you guys say? Yeah. Four kids. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm Nate, Ryder. I'm the dad here. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. And? I'm Ruth. I'm mom. <laughs> mama Chan. And these are the four kids. She's the oldest. I'm Rebecca. Rebecca. And? And then? Anna. Anna. And, and then? Sarah. 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 And then Joshua. Joshua. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And uh, how long have you been in Japan? We've been here just over eight years. What? Eight years. That's yes. a long time. So when we moved here, Becca and Anna, the twins, they were four Mother years twins. old. Sarah was six months old and Joshua was born here. Oh. oh. Six months old. Before that, where, where did you guys live? Before that, we lived in America. Brazil. Mm -hmm. Brazil? For seven years. And then before that, we lived in America. Okay. Uh, so you guys are originally from the US, America, yes. yeah. and Brazil, yeah. and Japan. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. What is the reason you decided to come to Japan eight John. years ago? Yes. So, just like a lot of people, we came because of work. And so, but our work is we work in a church. In a church. And so, the church here, we have a church here in Japan, uh, Japanese people, and they said, Can you send people over? We want people to come to help us with a bilingual oh, church okay. so that we do it in Japanese oh, and there. English. I'm actually surprised that that's. That doesn't happen more often. I feel like there's a lot of religious opportunity mm. to like bring other people over to work for a church. And, yeah. Actually, where I lived before, I live very near a church, I think, mm. and I used to see like foreign people. So I guess maybe they were here for the same reason. And so then we were like, oh, that sounds cool. We want to go. Good call. And so that's why, how we came in. So the Japanese church invited us to come mm. and mm. and sponsored us to come. That sort of thing. People are much more quieter and everything's so clean it's and organized true. and safe. So letting our kids play outside by them, well, not by themselves then, but now by themselves is something that's just amazing. Amazing. <laughs> I'm 12. 12? Me too. Same? I'm six. Six? Yeah. I'm eight. Eight. You guys both always speak Japanese? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, look at me! Can, 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 can we guess? Yeah, Nihon 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 yeah, I forgot what you just said, but like, <laughs> I, I could understand. I mean, they're, they're just way no, more you understand, Carson. Come on. I'm trying. あの、比較的だから時間そんなにないあそこ時間。ここからいかせだ。だっそうじゃん。うん。ハウスクール。ファンです。天の日。ね。それ。I <laughs> 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 Japan to like mm. they don't have time to play she was saying right in a club and I'm saying very Japan just because there's so many things that 
children do, right? Club activities. Club activities and, and yeah. also like nalaigoto, like mm. you know they learn piano, learn everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not as common in France, I would say. Like we we do learn like one activity like once a week, but mm -hmm. that's all, and no club activity. So it's like after you're done with school, you just do homework and play. So it's very different, I think. It's schools in Canada do typically offer a lot of these club activities as well. Okay. Yeah, it's, I mean. I, I probably, I had like a uh, math and Chinese class, but mm -hmm. many of my other friends would do sports, skating, for example. Okay. You know, skating, skiing, that's very common. Ping pong, you know. chess club. Chess might be a me thing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, a lot of variety, a lot of I variety. I wish we had it. Nothing in France for that, like. Teaching how to make baguettes. That doesn't exist, sadly. <laughs> <laughs> many of my subscribers want to come to Japan and some people want to stay here forever so that means they might raise a kid here yes. right as a foreigner mm. so first of all do you have any opinion on that like raising I need kids this in advice. japan as a I'm foreigner i'm actually very interested in this so we've only raised kids in japan because our girls right. were four when we moved here all oh, right oh that's right four oh, is a lot so in today's um, day we love it uh, we grew up in other countries i grew up in brazil and he grew up in america so but here this is the best place, I think, of those two countries to raise kids. I prefer Japan. Really? Yeah. Why do you think so? Um, first of all, there's, the government is very in favor mm -hmm. of people raising kids. So, like, health care is very cheap, mm -hmm. and schools are very cheap, yeah. and school? it's very safe. They said they're from America, and uh, I think the schooling is right? much more expensive. I don't know, like public versus private school, yeah. but I think in general, Japan, like public schools are uh, free or cheap. France yeah. is so cheap that I don't have the same perspective. Yeah, it's just Europe, right? Yeah, like Europe. that's mm -hmm. the only thing I'm like, maybe French is better because school is cheaper. That's the only part I would say, like, we don't have club activity to make maggot though, so... <laughs> Parks everywhere, so it makes it very convenient mm. as a mom. Yeah, even Parks. in Tokyo, there's some parks. See? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I think Canada is a pretty safe place in general, but mm -hmm. the, the level of safety, I think, in Japan is another level. Yeah. You know, when I go to parks or beaches and I see kids running around just... Like, right. I remember when I lived in another place, not the next to the church one, uh -huh. the other one, there was a park nearby mm -hmm. after school. Mm -hmm. There would be like a bunch of kids, mm -hmm. no parents. And they just play in the park. Yeah. And like they have this thing, right? At five o'clock, there's a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and that's when they need to go home, right? I think. That's so interesting to me because in France, no one would leave their kids alone in a park, like at least when they're that young. Yeah, no, you same know? thing in Canada. I don't think that's right? a thing. It's like we're so scared because mm. there's weird people, right? And yeah. like there's. It's not so safe. It's not yeah, safe. exactly. But she was talking about the parks. But when we started to. Uh, even started to go out as a family. We're like, well, let's look for places to go to. Mm. And we started to look for the parks that they have here. And then discovering that there are some incredible places here, yeah, really. especially with kids, especially when you're bringing Chino, kids honestly. and just these amazing I playgrounds and different things, which eventually became what we we're doing with our YouTube channel. But, you know, it was like, wow, this is really cool. Kids. Go to Japanese school, right? Which is Japanese public school. Oh, uh, Japanese public school, right? Yeah. And I think in Tokyo, you live near Tokyo, so yeah. it's not Tokyo. that hard to, you know, let them in international schools in Tokyo, which I think many foreign families does it. And why did you decide to, you know, do that? Well, we wanted a school in our neighborhood where they could make friends and mm. play on the weekends just in mm. the park. Because we looked at international schools, but they'd have to go by train or yeah. not necessarily the it's kids live expensive. where we live, yeah, you know. True. So we wanted them to be close to home and be able to make friends around us. And it's been great. Plus, they're cheap. I mean, mm. you don't pay hardly mm. except for school lunches. Mm. And my kids love the school lunches. So, so it's, it's a win-win. Win. Oh, it's cool That's good, it's, oh, uh, yeah. school Actually, I think this perspective is pretty good. Just forget the... I mean, the price is nice. It's yeah, free yeah, yeah, school yeah. lunches. But I think friends around safety, yeah. that is a new perspective. That That is a good point. Yeah, especially when you are young, right? If it's mm -hmm. like before middle school, before high school, it's mm -hmm. just like you want kids to play around with. You're right, like, you're right. And it's best way for them to get used to like the Japanese culture too, right? I you're guess right. being surrounded by the that kids That is the best there. way. 
Mm. But the city hall also mm. tells you everything you need to know. Oh. So we, whenever we have questions about education or health insurance, we go there. I'm going to take a quick pause here. There is no one in the entire country that has moved more than me. Okay. I've moved six coups in six years. I've been to every city hall. Wow. Tokyo, your, your city halls for foreigners are great, especially the Shibuya one. Mm. Like there's just a foreigner section. It really helps you out. And if you're a foreigner trying to come to Japan, the city hall will really help you out. Just like this video said, any, anything you need. Unless Nerima is a little harder, but some of them is really great. It's great. <laughs> when Beck and Anna started in Shogako, in their elementary school, they had a teacher that would come just to meet with them and help them in learning mm. Japanese and making sure oh, that, that they were getting better. well integrated with the class and everything. That's great. And uh, as that, they only needed that for about a year. About a year, and then Did and then the lady said they're fine. They're they're well uh, integrated. They're doing just fine. Just so so fast, it was very helpful in the process of of doing that. I think raising kids in Japan is wonderful and it's such a great opportunity for your kids to be bicultural mm -hmm. and learn English and Japanese or whatever language is their mother tongue. So I would highly encourage people to come and live and try it. It's great. Yeah, I would say just if you're if you're a family, if you're a couple and you're thinking, should we have a kid? I, I would just really say, oh man, having kids is one of the greatest blessings that there is. If you have a good family relationship at home, then it really doesn't matter what your job is or mm. what you're doing. You're going to have a little piece of heaven at home. I agree with you. And that makes a big difference. Yeah. I, I think I'm excited. I can't wait to, to get married and have kids <laughs> in Chiba. In Chiba, that's very specific. Very specific. Okay. That's great for people who want to come in and have children. Yeah, it's very nice. And, you know, as they said, I think Japan is super safe. Yeah. It makes you feel like comfortable having your kids run around the town, you know, so okay. yeah. Mm. Let us know in the comment down below, would you want to raise your children in another country? I'm very curious to know what yeah. they have to say about that. And if you like the video, please don't forget to put it a thumbs up. You can subscribe, ring the bell. We are Lenkol e Kaiwa. If you want to talk more about all of those cultural differences, if you want to challenge your English skill, there is a link down below. Uh, you can click it to try a session and come meet us. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> She's like, <"Dag> <laughs> Wait, wait, did you understand what they said? Yeah, I forgot what she just said, but like, <laughs> I, I could understand. I mean, they're, they're just way no, more. No, you understand.